So Trevor Bauer was a Cy Young winner, 32-year-old pitcher, Cy Young winner, getting ready to get his $200 million contract that he was going to get. Incredible pitcher stud, he is. Stud. Stud of studs. He's doing, a great, he's doing great stuff in baseball. And then all of a sudden, this guy's a little bit loud. Baseball doesn't like him. MLB doesn't like him. He talks trash. He, he would call the Cy Young Award when he won. What did he call it? The Mickey the Mouse Mickey Award? The Mickey Mouse Cy Young Award. Yeah, <laughs> the Mickey Mouse Cy Young Award. He's, and he wore Mickey Mouse shirts with Cy Young. Yeah, I love he, he would He would vlog while playing for major leagues. I love that. He was a Good. vlogger, YouTuber, while playing for the major leagues. Good He's a him. professional poker, and I don't mean cards. <laughs> In many okay. ways, yes. In many, yeah, Trevor yeah. Bauer oh. accuser, Trevor Bauer's accuser, Lindsey Hall, opens up on text and video claims. Lindsey Hill, who accused Trevor Bauer of sexual assault, responded to Bauer's video sharing text messages and a video to support her his innocence. She explained that some of her text messages, including one that read, next victim, star pitcher for Dodgers, were sarcastic and taken out of context. She also mentioned her, that her use of the word victim was inappropriate, but I meant in a serious context. I mean, I just ruined the guy's life for two yeah. years. What's the big deal? Yeah. He'll discuss a video Bauer shared in which she appeared to be smiling after the alleged assault. She clarified that her emotions were complex at the time, and the video was sent to her cousin to show oh. that everything was okay. Oh. She explained that bruises from e such incidents can take time to appear <laughs> and mentioned possessing selfies that demonstrate physical injuries. Can you play the video of Trevor Bauer, by the way? Can you just play the clip? I, I want you to actually play the clip of Bauer from the beginning. Watch this here. By the way, this guy is playing in Japan now because Major League Baseball suspended him for whatever the number of games was. Then they lowered it to 50 games. 100 what? 194 games. He lost $37 million. By the way, he didn't lose $37 million, guys. During that time, he was at his peak of his career. He was about to get a $200 million bag yeah. is what he was going to get that they took away from him. But play this clip here. Go for it. Next victim, star pitcher for This the is her Dodgers. texting. Okay. A text Lindsay Hill sent to a friend before she ever even met me. What should I steal? She asked another in reference to visiting my house for the first time. The answer? Take his money. So how might that work? I'm going to his house Wednesday, she said. I already have my hooks in. Jesus. You know how I roll. Then, after the first time we met, net worth is 51 mil, she said. Bitch, you better secure the bag, was the response. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but how was she going to do that? Great Need friend. daddy to choke me out, she said. Being an absolute whore to try to get in on his 51 million. Wow. Read another text. Jesus. Demon. And then, after the second time we met, former Padres pitcher Jacob Nix told her, You gotta get this bag. I'll give you 50,000, Lindsay replied. Her AA sponsor asked her at one point, Do you feel a tiny bit guilty? Not really, she replied. Since then, her legal team has approached me multiple times about coming to a financial settlement. But as I have done since day one, I refuse to pay her even a single cent. Good boy. Uh, in August of 2021, Lindsay Hill's claims were heard in court, and during those legal proceedings, critical information was deliberately and unlawfully concealed from me and my legal team. Uh, information like this video, which was taken by Lindsay Hill herself the morning after she claimed she was brutally attacked, emotionally traumatized, and desperate to get away from me. Uh, and now we have the metadata, so there can be no dispute. Uh, it was taken mere minutes before she left my house on the morning of May 16th, 2021. Idiot. Without my knowledge or consent, of course. Uh, in it, you can see her lying in bed next to me while I'm sleeping, smirking at the camera without a care in the world, or any marks on her face. I think it paints a pretty clear picture of what actually happened the evening of May 15th and why the video was originally concealed from us. Uh, after hearing the evidence of you can pause this here. By the way, Gold she gets confronted mm. by. Did you see this when she's getting confronted, Rob? Do you have that video? Who she get, who? she gets confronted on a podcast, and a lady says, "You texted this. You said this. You said that. You said this. How do you feel about it now?" Well, you know, it's all being taken out of context. Um, it's not really true, and it's not really this, and it's not really that. You're, supposed, she, you're supposed to believe all women, though, Pat. So, yeah. by the way, I mean, she's you getting, have to believe her. <clears throat> she's getting paid five hundred to five grand to be on these podcasts, ladies and gentlemen. She is she is a witness for hire right now. Mm -hmm. How do you know she's getting paid that kind of money? Because she needs money. She's freaking broke, and the and people get paid to be on podcasts. And by the way, she, by the way, she's good, getting paid. She's getting paid five hundred bucks. She's not going on a podcast got, for uh, nothing. Well, she also got a three hundred thousand dollars settlement from the insurance company and through oh, her lawyers shoot. after this was cleared. But well, by the way, most, this is her which acting most up. Was going to her lawyers. This is her on. This is a. This is a. This is her acting up drunk at an event. Just to watch this year. Go for it. Same girl. <laughs> Oh, she's an evil. Dude, look at that hate in her. 
Oh, she's an angry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hey, don't do that. Metro's coming. Well, I want to make sure nothing happens. Is she drinking a Bud Light? It all makes sense. She's That's all you need. Oh. Perfect. Forget it. She's drinking that demon juice. No. The official beer of cheat <laughs> of cleat chasers. She's bringing that demon juice, brother. Look, uh, you know, Shamla Anderson over here, yeah. right here now. <laughs> Like, this is actually, there's so many Sad. different ways we can go with this situation. You know, the height of 2017, 2018, the Me Too movement, Harvey Weinstein, we get it. That was actually true, right? And he was held accountable for that. So so was someone like Bill Cosby. Less movement. You know, less movement. We all know what happened. So there's men out there. They're like, what the hell is going on? Because you see what's going on out there where men, you know, they're being called gropers or certain other words or grapists just because they want to go talk to women in public. Some breaking story on TikTok, some guy just tried to approach a girl at the gym. And she's like, he's a, a, assaulting me. He's like, I just said, what's up? Yeah. But here's, on the surface, obviously men see something like this and like, this is ridiculous. It's but I think going deeper, who should be the most upset are actually women. Because... If you put aside these nonsensical, fabricated, manufactured stories, there actually are real stories about women that yep. deal with issues. Yep. And what happens when these women full-on lie is now it's the pendulum has swung the complete opposite way to the whole believe all women is now it's the boy who cried wolf syndrome or the girl who cried wolf syndrome. And they're like, yeah, how do we know this yeah. is true? True victims. So we've seen what's hearing. happened. Here's yeah. my point. We've seen what's happened. Well, it turns out Amber Heard was a freaking liar. And she actually has to pay $8 million yeah. to Johnny Depp for defamation. Turns out, you know, Russell Brand, we'll see what happens with him. Probably fake news type of thing. Turns out Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate, yeah, it turns out these allegations, they don't really have any evidence. It turns out, I've so done several of these things on my show, The Sauzecast, where they literally show a woman on a podcast. She's like a famous rapper, not Cardi B. We'll get to that in a second. Who literally said her boyfriend was being mean or whatever, and she thought he was cheating. So what did she do? She called DCF on him, Department of Child and Family Services, and said that he was abusing his kids. And, done. and on camera admitted, this is actually on uh, Adam22, I believe. Uh, they took the kid? She yeah. said, I full-on lied, and I got him back. Sorry about that. I'm yelling. <laughs> But you're I'm passionate. Heated a little bit. You're passionate. But what's my point is that accountability needs to be to happen for these women, for all the the guys that did wrong stuff. You're talking about the Harvey Weinsteins of the world, the Bill Cosby world. Where's the accountability? Watch this for video. For the ladies though. that have watch lied. Watch this video. Just play this short clip. It's a, it's a longer interview, but just watch this 15 second clip. That's a great question. It's a really, really valid question. I think that's a really good question. How I phrased it. I, and how, I think it's a super valid question. Everything you're asking me is a super valid question. I agree. Question. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> Again, super valid. Um, you know what? That's something my lawyers would have to answer. <laughs> yeah. By the way, it's embarrassing. Everything she asks, she's like, so why would you text them this? You know you were doing this. You were trying to get the money. Do you realize what you did to him? Oh, it's a valid question. It's a valid question. It's a super valid question. Such a good question. question. So, so, the, so, so the point out with Trevor Bauer is this. Okay, sounds good. Trevor Bauer's right. Okay, cool. Now, he's in Japan. Yeah. yeah. Okay, he's big in Japan right now. Okay? They love him. He's the tallest, he guy. He's the tallest guy there. Yeah, he's a novelty. The, the he's he's yeah, they love, they love him in Japan. He's a foreign player over there. They love him in Japan, but tell me the greatest Japanese hitter of all time and how many hits and home runs does he have? Suzuki? Uh, Sato Huber? Oh. Okay. Yeah, of course Tom knows it. Is that who it is? Yeah. What about the guy? Uh, Rob, help me out here. Yeah, no, no. Rob's the not going to help no, you no, out. The point no, is, yeah, can you, you, you can barely what's the most yeah. home runs someone hit in, in uh, Japanese I league? I think O, O, H, almost got to Babe Ruth. How many home runs did he hit? But how many home runs did Roger Maris hit here? Uh, 61 for his record season. How many did Babe hit in a season? 714. Seven, yeah. No, season was 714 career. What's the most Barry Bonds hit? 74, I believe. What did Barry Bonds and uh, uh, what did Mark, Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa do? It was a race yeah, to 70. 70. 70 and 70. 66. I see right? where you're going here, Pat. Nobody knows what about Japanese baseball. What the hell baseball. do you know yeah. about Japanese? Yeah. This guy's an American yeah. guy. He wants a yeah. legacy in America, not yeah. in Japan. Yeah. Yep. So this guy wants that here. So now, Dodgers, are you going to... You know, tweet out an apology. Yep. Right. For jumping the gun. MLB, are you going to put an apology for what you did to this guy? Are you going to do that? No. Nope. Because this whole concept, you know, half my frustration yesterday was, you, you, you know, when we're having this conversation with this guy about Trevor Bauer, is this, this notion of guilty until proven innocent. You yep. destroyed the guy's life. Yep. How about innocent until proven guilty? 
You this you suspended the guy based on allegations the girl made that were wrong. Right. And now what? His life impact and think, great point. His legacy, his name, because I don't care because we talked about this the other day, Pat on usual suspects. The average person like this, they're not doing the research that you're doing. Right now, the average person that sees him and they see his name, you know what they're gonna say? Rapist, abuser, beater guy. That's what that's they it. <clears throat> it's permanent. For the, for the rest of his life, that's right. how much do you think he's gonna sue, Pat? Because he's gonna go after everybody. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, even if he does. I mean, this this is this is this is part of the problem. Who's the screw you're talking about? Well, is this the yeah, screw you're well, talking there's about? There's nothing worse in this world than being wrongfully accused of something you didn't do. So Trevor Bauer, I feel for you, brother. I mean, are you kidding me with this? Especially after the fact, what's going on here? Like, you see these things going on where, you know, breaking news, man released from prison after being wrongfully accused 40 years. <laughs> for 28 years, <laughs> yeah. and they give him a check for $1.2 million. Well, here's this girl that I'm talking about. So there's a guy at the end of the story who had his kids taken away. But let's not worry about that. Let's, what are we going to do with her? Are we throwing her in jail? But she actively full-on full lied. Watch his podcast. She is in no danger of ever writing a Nobel this Prize accepted speech. This one. <laughs> She's look at I call, I call child services on my ex. Demon. Because he pissed me off. And then I was like, yeah, I'm done with this person. Whatever. Like, you know, cheater. Fucking piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Lies about dumb shit. Look in the mirror. Dad, kids. I called child services mm -hmm. on his ass. Mm -hmm. And Got him. I like. Yeah. Fabricated everything and like look, look said certain said, things, look, look, and they look. like went to the door and like there was a whole process. Like I don't even know if the children's aid worker still visits them, but she probably does because of what I said, like the way I AI'd that shit, you know, like real AI shit, like fake bruises type. Mm -hmm. shit. By the way, if you go to, if you go to hell, Careful she's at administration. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, the guy interviewing her won't even be seen show on camera, face. but she'll show anything. But ladies, Stupid this is ass. my point. Dummy. Is like why do should women why should men actually have respect for women who are willing to do this like we've seen we all we've, we've seen cardi b come out and say yes i drug before them. i was a famous rapper i was a full-on stripper i would go to guys Drugging. house drug them steal their shit jack them if a guy did that he would be held what accountable yeah well, women can just go on podcasts, admit to getting guys' kids taken away from them, yeah. and joke about it. I, I add that shit. Yeah. Where's the accountability? And, and Pat, there? You know, and by the way, Sue, anybody of that started to cut you off, Tom, <sighs> anybody, any rich, successful, famous men, mm -hmm. this is a lesson to be learned. You cannot be hooking up one night stands. Rob, Rob, you talked about this too, right? What did she yeah. say about the sexual experience she wanted? The hair, it was insane, yeah. right? Well, the text message. I need she, daddy she was to saying, choke she was, me out. Yeah, she was saying, I want all the pain. Daddy needs to choke me out. Her, it, I mean, they're very, very they're not explicit. in her favor. But Pat, my, point, my point being, Pat, if you're, if you're um, um, like, Pat, if you were single and you had no kids and you're out there, and by the way, he's out there, he's doing this thing. You not only have to have contracts, you have to have a yeah. camera, you have to have, hey, what's your, Sarah, we're hooking up, right? It's cool if I pull your hair and choke you up. Yeah. It's to that point. So I'm not blaming him, but at the same token, you're this guy, you're in the public eye. The demons are out looking yeah. for you in these moments. The only thing I'm happy about about this story is, though, Tom, you think sh that chick will ever bang a guy with money? She's going to be banging dudes from Walmart Let me tell left you, and right. Unfortunately, I think you're wrong. Because I think that. A girl who's hot enough will find she's some not, chump. She's not that hot. She's uh, just, not that hot. Whether it's her she's or She's Walmart that, hot. Yeah. <laughs> Rob, you'd see her at Walmart. They, there's a blueprint and there's a game plan for these types of girls. <laughs> and if they're not held accountable, we'll see what happens. I've been around guys, big time dudes. They literally make girls sign NDAs before they even walk in the house. Hell yeah. Literally. Before you walk into this house party, sign this form right here. I agree that nothing. Blah, blah, blah. Pat, you've done a whole video where guys have to be like, so hey, what's up? Me and Mary right here. We about to do our 100%. Pick, right, Mary? Yeah, yep. it sucks, but... but if you're that dude, a Trevor Bauer has $200 million on the line, yeah. you, you know, using a sports reference, you can play offense, you got to play some defense. You got to have well, we could, ball. We could go on this for a long time this morning because there's three, three topics here I'm going to bring up really, really fast. The first... The first is we're living in a, in a world where we have the politicization of of basically the criminal justice system and the Pasadena Police Department. I'm going to stay away from everything we're talking about here to my second point. 
The Pasadena Police Department sat on this stuff. When Trevor Bauer said metadata, he was talking about text messages that the Pasadena Police Department got because they gave a subpoena to AT&T and Verizon and they got the real text messages. Your phone, erase it from your phone. It's in the servers at the, uh, that the, the, cell, the wireless carrier, your mobile provider. They had all of it and they sat on it. And do you remember how long the Pasadena Police Department sat on it and did file charges did not file charges they never filed a criminal charge against this guy and they dropped it they were waiting for it to come out of the news they were feeling pressure that if they went out and basically said there's nothing to see here we're not going to prosecute that the the political machine was going to come down on the da and the da the prosecutor in pasadena was scared squatless to say you know nothing to see here because they had the video and they had all this stuff and by the way so we're living in a political realm and the second is let me tell you you know, when you live in a hookup culture, there's consequences. Every college in America is doing orientation for their male athletes, and there's a phrase that's on those, because I've seen some of the PowerPoints. It's called cleat chasers. Mm-hmm. And they say, hey, you're going to find some girls that are perfectly good How's that girlfriends. How's cleat. that spelled? Cleat. Cleat. Like cleats. Oh, okay. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. That does. We thought you were getting freaky. Yeah. They're <clears> also <throat> called jersey jumpers, and they're yep. also called... Yeah. Uh, and they use phrases that are that not sexist, but they're saying, hey, what we're talking about here, the men, it's not an anti-woman word. It's just a description of people that want to chase you around and be with you and be part of the party. Mm-hmm. And in the middle of that, there may be girlfriends, but there may be some very bad actors that are in the middle of the crowd there it's hey i'm a big athlete i got all this stuff going on i'm living in a hookup culture here at university of whatever and you've got the university now that's warning these guys hey you know what you need to be careful about this because we will cut you we will drop you and it's about to get worse on campus my third point because of nil name image likeness you now have college kids that are going to have real money in their pocket Uh and it's about to come down a level to less mature men who are going to get attacked like Trevor Bauer did mm-hmm. because you're going to be a college player with a two million dollar contract. We so what? Well, and by the, that's and by the way, my go. last point, so we can go on because Pat's got the next topic. Yeah. What did they tell you in the military when you went out? Not clubbing, not going to New York because you had military you dollars. Fifteen. Will get, Say it again. Fifteen will get you twenty. And always have who with you. Always have a buddy. A ranger you. buddy. Yeah. Always a witness. A buddy. Uh, t- what was Rob? Yeah. You were about to say something? Well, just real quick. The timeline of this, Pat, Not and, and Tom brought it up. The Pasadena Police Department declined to press charges against uh, Trevor Bauer. The Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office also declined to press charges against him. The judge who issued the restraining order lifted the restraining order, citing that he honored the woman's uh, wishes <laughs> in regards to rough sex. He didn't go past the boundaries. And despite all of that, Major League Baseball still decided to suspend him for 300 and... Yeah. 24 games. Dude, well, and, and it's the called the thing, foot dragging suspension, Adam, the biggest I, suspension in Major League Baseball history because they dragged their feet. I, and you know what's you know what's scary? The, the, thank God this guy has money. Could you imagine the guys that are out there, Pat? That and Johnny Depp girls? had money. Yeah, imagine. But yeah, but think about the average guy that's just like, I got freaky. She, what she wanted no me doubt. jail. For 20 yeah. years, you're my, finished. My last well, point if you, is if the, you read Musk's book, yeah, if you I'm, read that's my Musk's next book, book, brother. First of all, whatever guys, do whatever you can. Go read his I'm book. I'm doing it. His second book. wife was crazy train. Yeah, if you read his book, you'll see what Kimball talks about Amber Heard, Kimball's mm-hmm. his brother. Yeah, what his family says about Amber Heard. You're gonna learn okay. more about Amber Heard in this book. Oh, great! Then the then, documentary. Oh, okay. Because it's gonna be on the inside what his insiders thought of her. Gotcha. That's what you have to read. Go okay. for it. Let's wrap it up, guys. 30 seconds on this topic. Here's my last on. point. Just how Harvey Weinstein or Bill Cosby are the poster child, the face of men who do this to women, right? Because that is a real thing. Proven guilty, those guys. Right. Proven guilty. Uh, women who do this, whether it's Cardi B, whether it's Amber Heard to a certain extent, they need to be the poster child, the face, and held accountable for what they've done wrong to men. Let so maybe, 10 of them go to jail for 20 years. That's my yeah, point. Yeah. Good. Like, women need to learn a lesson. You lie about this kind of stuff. You get some dude's kids taken away. That's you right. lie about getting choked out yep. and abused, but it turns out you were into it just to steal $50 That's million. Right. Dollars. When they go to jail, when this girl, whatever her freaking name is, Lindsay Hill, goes to jail, then women will be like, oh, shit, you know that playbook? Yeah, maybe let's not use that this time. And especially right now, you got proof. Everything can be sh- shown and traced right now. Mm-hmm. You can't BS today. People are going to see the text messages, the WhatsApp, all of that stuff. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.